What's up, guys? It's your boy once again, back in the vibe. Man, I got one for you guys. I got one for you. You're not going to believe this. Sometimes I just uh, it, it just amazes me how delusional some of these women are. And I know a lot of you guys say this or say that. But some of the ladies are really crazy. Y'all just crazy. This young lady here that's coming up, I'm not going to give it away. She has a delusional idea that she wants a man to do to to deal with her. That's all I'm going to say on this. So y'all hang in there. Y'all pay attention to this mess. She's on, come on, Kendra G show. Kendra going to get on her butt about it. But y'all pay attention to it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm going <laughs> to let it run as much as I can before I say something. But this is crazy. So don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share. Definitely hit that notification bell. And make sure y'all hit those likes because I need the algorithm to kick in. And so the video can get moved on. All right? So no further ado. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all just hold on to this. Hello, Kendra. Hi. What's your name? I'm Taylor. Taylor, where are you calling us from? Texas. Hey, can you got to talk louder. You have me on a Bluetooth? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. But maybe take the Bluetooth off. Hello? So okay. Can you hear me? Hello? Um, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Sorry. I'm at work right now. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, yes, I'm in Texas. Texas, how old are you, Taylor? 29. 29, what do you do for a living? I'm a front desk agent at a hotel. Front desk agent at a hotel, you have any kids? Yes, I have two beautiful boys, one and three, by one man. Why are you not together? It's complicated, <laughs> honestly. We took off your Bluetooth? Yes, I did. Can you hear me? Okay. So you have a one-year-old and a three-year-old by the same guy. You're not together? No. You don't know why? Now, pay attention. She said they're not together. And I always say, ladies, well, guys, she has a one-year-old. So that means, regardless, her and the man just, they haven't been broken up too long, if they're broken up. That's what I say. But we all know they still, within that time frame, they still deal with their baby daddy. We know this. So let's go. It's complicated. We just don't mesh at all. Like, I'm a very affectionate person, and he just did not show any affection at all. But y'all made Give two kids. Give me one second. Let me see. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought it was going to connect again. Okay. But yeah, um, we're just um, not compatible at all, honestly. Not compatible at all. After okay, two so we got Taylor, Texas, 29, front desk, got a hotel. What's your zodiac sign? Aries. Aries. Yes. Mine are two kids by the same man. Um, one and three. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man that's honest, um, a loving man, a man that's able to express himself. That's not afraid to love a woman, show a woman that he cares about her, like go on dates, hug me, kiss me in public, um, stuff like that. Like, I just want a man that's romantic because I'm a very emotional woman and I'm a very loving woman. So if you're not honest and you're not, you know, ready to actually love and go through the ups and downs and be there mentally and emotionally, then, yeah, I don't okay. want you. <laughs> I noticed she didn't mention uh, anything about how they feel about kids. If you have kids, you need someone that's cool with you having kids. Now, there's some guys out there, they don't have a problem with that. But then you have those, they don't want to deal with that. So you got to make sure you're putting yourself in the right position and, um, and dealing with the right type of guy. You can't just, well, I want all these dudes, these great dudes, and we'll figure it out. Your ass to be heartbroken. I'm telling you. So, and I don't know what she's looking for. This super dude that's gonna do all this stuff. I don't. I don't know any of them. But are um, your deal breakers? Um, 
Someone that's not passionate, um, a liar, and what else? That's really it. Sorry, Kendra, I'm nervous. <laughs> I watch your show all the time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, at this point, I honestly don't even care. As long as you're attractive to me, I don't care. You could be white, Asian, black. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, they're telling me you've been here before, have you? No, this is my first time. It's her first time, cousin. She's yeah. first time. Okay, you say you're open to our races? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Mm, uh, I guess 75K. I don't know, Kendra. Honestly, it's not really about the money to me because I'm going to work every day and provide for my kids. So the money isn't really a big deal for me. The more, okay. the more, look, sorry. <laughs> the most important thing to me is the love and the respect, honestly. Okay. They say that now. <laughs> I don't even know why she said that. Because you know for a fact, money's going to be a factor. If you're trying to have a, a, you want a man to love on you the way you want, then that means you want to be in a very committed relationship. So, He's got to come in and play daddy, stepdaddy to the kids, right? That means he got to do things for the kids, which means he got to come out of his pocket for the kids. All this, okay, I'm take care of my kids. I'm, it's all my kids, my kids, my kids until y'all get together. And then you want that to be our kids. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you guys, if you ain't ready for that, don't get into that. I'm telling you, your pockets will be short. And then she'll break up. And then she's going about her business with those kids. And you're not getting that money back. You're not getting that money or time. You're not getting it back. So, and she's going with the kids. So you got tight with them. But she don't care. Because like I said, she's all about her feelings. So the next man to make her feel better, she's got, she's out, man. Um, and, okay, let's do the kids with him. All right, give me one second. But y'all hold tight. We're going to get there to the real nitty gritty. Okay, well, you're in good shape. <laughs> okay, I can see you, mama. I'm so, so I can't believe you picked me, but go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, girl. All right, so we got Taylor, Texas, 29, Aries. Um, do you want more kids? Uh, Yes, but it has to be a serious commitment before I do that. Okay, seriously, so before you do that. All right, Taylor. What about a um, marriage? When was your last relationship? <clears throat> okay, Kendra, don't get mad, okay? Here it comes. So, me and my kid's father is complicated. Here it comes. We're together, but we're not together. So, that's the big, yeah. <laughs> I got to start calling my ladies out. I gotta start calling my ladies out. Let me tell you why. And I uh, say I want y'all to hear this again. I want y'all to hear this again. Wait, 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 love. wait, wait, wait. I want y'all to hear again. Don't get mad, okay? So, me and my kid's father is complicated. We still live together, but we're not together. There it is. You still live with your kid's father. And you try and tell everybody y'all not still together. You are literally still together. Y'all living under the same roof, raising your kids together. Can't make this shit up. I'm telling you, this is delusional 101 times 50. So that's the big, yeah. <laughs> I got to start calling my ladies out. I got to start calling my ladies out. Let me tell you why. And I say this with love. I say this with love to my sisters. And I hope you receive this with love. But I get a lot of women who say things that there's piss in the dating pool, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to move forward. I already know that some men would probably have a challenge with you having two young kids, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to move forward. Now you're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life. I'm glad she got her. Um, I don't Kenna see why not. So I much. mean, we're not she together. Really like... 
A quality man is not Evolve. choosing a woman that has a one-year-old and a three-year-old that still lives with her baby daddy. That's not what a quality man is going to choose. Now, a man who might just want to have sex with you, who don't really have no future plans with you, he probably take you out because he don't want nothing. A man who in a relationship already and knows that he can mess with you on the low because you already live with your baby daddy, so it's an equal opportunity situation. But this is not what a man who was trying to set up a life with a woman would choose. And I feel like as much as I love my ladies, you, there got to be some housekeeping, right? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with you at least get your own place before That's you start looking for a new man. That's what I'm working on, Kendra. I'm working on Well, work on that and then work then on call you, Then call you back because I'm going to come I back mean, on your show. I mean, you're here now. I'm just, I just want to keep it real with you. Like... See, that's the look how the girl, how she's acting. She really thought that was okay to do. And a lot of you out here doing this. And this is where the fights break in. You know, the guy don't know you have a whole dude living at home with you. So next thing you know, some dude rolling up on him. But see, that's some of y'all want that. You want to make him jealous. You want to make him feel some kind of way so he'll get his act together. But in the meantime, you're putting a target on this other dude. Because you don't know exactly what your man going to do. And he don't know somebody's coming after him. But y'all think it's all cool because you're, gonna, you're making him feel some kind of way because you still want your baby dad. Let's just be real. And maybe you're trying to beat him to the punch because he said he's going to start dating. So you jumping on here trying to find you somebody so you can say, look, I got me somebody too. But how are you going to do this? That man is not ready for somebody to be laying down with his baby mom. She's Your child is one years old and y'all still in the house. How is that going to happen? This is the most delusional shit I've seen in my life, man. You ladies, y'all need to take some accountability for the stuff y'all do, man. This is so ratchet. And she all dressed up like she's all polished and everything. They come out here and say some ratchet mess like this. This is ridiculous, man. Go ahead, Kendra. I'll let you talk to her. Of course. I respect it. I love you, Kendra. I respect oh, it. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I love you back, and it's hard. But I, like, <laughs> they try to say crazy. that so Kendra won't eat them up. I love you, Kendra. And honestly, why can't y'all just work it out? Y'all have a one-year-old, three-year-old. Y'all live together. Like, what? I mean, in the perfect world, y'all can figure it out because y'all already a family. See, that's that co-parent. I keep telling y'all, for some reason... Y'all sisters do not want to believe in co-parenting. Work it out. You got two kids with this man and you ready to take off. He, he's not looking for someone else. So it's you that want to leave. Because you think it's somebody out there that's going to love you 900 days out of the year and rub your back and stroke your hair. Yeah, he's going to do it until he, until he hit it. And when he hit it, Shit. You be begging for him to touch you then. But this is so stupid. You rather mess up your family because you feel in some kind of way instead of trying to work it out. Go to counseling. Go do something. Go talk to somebody. Like, phew, ready to start over so quick. <sighs> Look at her. Uh, Fix I feel your like damn we face, grew up man. differently, so... I just feel like he has a lot of trauma that he doesn't want to deal with. So honestly, like I just don't see it's working at all. But you had two kids with. They them. want me to continue. What are your um? We were, we were almost at the end. Well, when's the last time you was intimate, intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Uh, probably about three weeks ago. Now listen to this. With your child's father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this. No, not really, because I know where my heart is at, and I know, like, it's it's over. Like, I gave him three years, and we're still at the same place that we've been. Girl, how was it over? You slept with him three weeks ago when you lived with him. Yeah, I got two kids together, a one this and a three-year-old. This is so crazy. Child, how is Kendra, it? What, what, part, what part of that equals Kendra, over? What part Kendra, of that just, equals over? Just because you're intimate with somebody doesn't mean that you're meant to be or there's compatibility there. Like, we live together, of course. Listen you know, you to might this. Have yeah, but you have to realize y'all not just intimate. Listen to this. Part, 
Okay, that is the part, but let's just say, okay, one thing is y'all slept together three weeks ago. That's one thing. God. Another thing is y'all have two young kids. You have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. That's a whole nother equation. Then y'all live together. That's equation number three. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Kendra, it must be it's stupid. a long story, honestly. <laughs> this is um, so uh, What are three flaws God. you have to work on? Um, I would say communication. Mm. Stop being delusional. Stop being delusional. Communication. And three stop being delusional. Take your ass mm, home. I don't know, Kendra. What? What? <laughs> What? You can't name three flaws? I'm sorry, Kendrick. I'm sorry. He look. Let me have you. Know. She said I'm like she all polished. Daddy still. You slept with your baby daddy three weeks ago. Y'all got a one and a three year old together. You ain't giving us. You want me to keep going? <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking for love. Like, that's it. Well, that's the problem. So, you don't, you don't, here's the deal. Looking for love. Love is in the mirror, okay? You don't oh, have I to love find myself. love. We're born love with myself. love. This chick says she's looking for love. You actually think this man do not love you that's in that house helping you raise those two kids. He may not be as loving as he used to be, but he hasn't left, which means he still love you because he hadn't left. But you looking to start over with a whole new dude and throw him and your two kids away because... There's no way he's about to let that happen right now. You're not about to bring some new dude in here. You're about to bring around my kids. Just be out your mind. But but see, y'all y'all quick to break up a family because I ain't happy. I need love. I need all this. And then you'll spend the next 15 years trying to find it by yourself. He moved on. He done found somebody. Start a whole new family, your ass still out here in the streets running around looking for love. I see it every day. Every freaking day I see it. Then you'll start talking trash about the daddy like, like he did something. He ain't paying no money. He ain't doing that for his kids. Shouldn't have left. You broke it up. Get your life right, lady. Right. So you don't have to look far for love, but the way you love yourself is the way somebody else is gonna love you. And you know, I always tell people, you're gonna see, I don't know if you're, this is, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm saying things that's enlightening to you. It's things that I would think you would know, but mm. the cousins are definitely gonna tell you this. Like, I don't understand how, y'all need to get some new girlfriends because your girlfriend should have told you this. Your girlfriend should have said, at least get your own place. Because how does the guy pick you up? You live with your baby daddy. Right. And you, you slept with three sneak. weeks ago. You're going to be so sneaking out the house. How does the new man even take you out on a date? <laughs> oh, she already creeping doing stuff. That's why. She got a point. She got a point. The reason she's on here doing this is because she's already entertaining people. And that might be why they're having problems at home. Because there's no way someone just come out the blue, call into a dating show, and try to find a date on a dating show that's international. And plus, you may be trying to make your man jealous. Because this is going to get back to him. You see what I'm saying? But you're going to try to drag somebody else in, have a third party in this. They're going to get drug into it. Now your boy out here... Threatening to do who knows what to him, and he don't know he don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But y'all good with that? Cause after he get into a fight with this dude or whatever, you gonna go home with the baby daddy, and he gonna look like a fool. But you are gonna be happy cause you made him jealous. But this right here, man, I want to say some things, and I really do, but I can't say it on here cause YouTube will just get me up out of here. But, yeah, this is what y'all look like out here, this right here. I've seen so many of these. Man, I know one personally that did it. Ruined her family. Trying to chase something out in the streets. And been single now for the last, shit, five years. 
struggling. How does a new man bring you to, because y'all also gotta know this too, respectable men, they got a, they got a list of people y'all gotta pass the test with, right? Okay, she went and that's fine. Okay, this is another eye opener. If you, most respectable men, not all, but most, they have a group of people you gotta pass the test with. It might be their grandmama, they mama, yeah. they auntie, or they sister, okay? Their they pop's still alive, their mom's Just still alive. Know, as you trying to win his heart and y'all going, these women that he respects in his life are also gonna have to co-sign you to a certain degree. And if they don't co-sign you, it's gonna be hard for y'all to move forward to the next step. So All right. So what what she's saying is when you talk about all this love, he's gonna bring you home. And when he bring you home, that family members, well those family members are gonna ask you questions. And they're going to talk to you. And if you say anything close to, yeah, my, I still live with my baby daddy, but but we, we're not in a relationship. We just get intimate and have, you know, SEX every once in a while. But just because we do that don't mean we in love. Now, how does that sound? Just imagine if a, if a dude came home, you met a dude, and he told you this about his girlfriend. I still live with my girlfriend. My, well, my baby's mom, but we're not in a relationship. But every once in a while, we do still have, you know, SEX. And, but that don't mean that we in the, you know, we care about each other like that. I mean, we're not in love. That sounds stupid coming out of me right now. So I know how bad that sounds, somebody listening to it. But I, don't, I, I told you guys, y'all had to pay attention to this one. She got up out of there quick, trying to like, you know, you're at work and that phone ring, you need to answer it anyway, but... It was best to start ring because she needed she needed her out. She needed to go because she made a fool out of herself. But her baby daddy gonna get it and he probably gonna leave her. You'll get what you want then. Well, that's all I got, people. Make sure you guys hit it up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about it. Would you stay with this woman, guys? Would you stay with this woman if you saw this video of her coming on here and? doing this would you stay with her you got two kids with her y'all living together would you stay with her let me know all right guys i'm up out of here appreciate y'all hanging on the vibe with me and i am out of here y'all take care peace